Welcome to Rado Beyond and some album review. Let me put it just this way. This is probably one of the best albums of this year. Remove the world, probably, and you're right there. This is one of the best albums this year, 2020. So the band in question is a German post-rock band called Long Distance Calling with its seventh album, How Do We Want To Live? Now, I don't know about you guys, but already this title uh, reminds me of Pink Floyd later era. And uh, that's not the only thing that actually reminds me of Pink Floyd with this album. Uh, this one is a beautiful looking uh, book, Digipack release. I don't know if it's called Digibook, Digipack or whatever, but here it is. 10 tracks uh, or 50 minutes of music. And uh, I'm going to guide you through this release um, while talking about it. And why I wanted to include this one on Rauta Beyond, not on Rauta Channel, is that obviously this is not metal release as such, and uh, not on Metal Archives, but it's a post-rock meeting progressive rock, and uh, that enough uh, that should be enough to be an indication why this is here on uh, Rauta Beyond rather than on Rauta. As you can see, these images here within are rather peculiar and interesting. They, however, fit the music very, very well. First of all, this is the kind of a uh, progressive and post-rock, progressive post-rock, yeah, let's, let's call it that, uh, which is mostly instrumental. Not fully, because there's one track, the track number eight, which is then again, uh, actually with those uh, vocal parts. But mostly this is instrumental music with just some spoken samples. And the rest is all about riffs, melodies, drum work, bass doing its own pounding sound, some synthesizers and all that. And some parts, my friends, are a lot like late Pink Floyd. Think of The Division Bell and albums of that era, maybe um, Dark Side of the Moon. I don't know. Uh, where to put it exactly, because this is not a Pink Floyd copycat. There's just so many parts which could be exactly that era. And uh, to be honest, this is a big, big compliment. I mean, I'm not the only one to say Pink Floyd is one of the best bands in the world. And uh, I'm more a fan of the so-called AOR material rather than their early kind of a hippie, progressive rock or whatever you kind of call it. Anyway, beautiful package with even more beautiful music. And um, this goes for the package, obviously, the music that matters the most. So in case you just don't happen to like physical format, go for the um, digital ones. But here's the website where you can just see the basic stuff, start listening to the music on YouTube or whatever. And um, what could I tell about this album? Beyond saying it's great and it's beautiful, it's melodic, it's catchy, it's soothing, it's mind-blowing, it's of great production, it's just fantastic. Well, first of all, this album creates quite strong uh, kind of a fiction, science fiction, that is, feeling in head, but also more leaning on the word science. This feels like this is a one of those uh, instrumental Pink Floyd tracks where you start pondering things of life, death, the meaning of it all, space, where we do, where we come from, how we want to live, and where are we going with this, all that stuff, what happens when we die, all this big stuff, look at the cosmos, this is all about like a soundtrack to these kind of ponderings. And because of these very, very soothing elements, this is very, very enjoyable album, like tuning down your pulse, just, you know, leaning back and just enjoying the wonderful work done by guitars, drums bass and all that stuff. Now, even though there's one track with vocals, which doesn't really bother, but I mean, it's mostly instrumental and you really start to figure out by listening to this album that you don't even need those vocals. Now, when they finally come into play, they're not so much bother, but more like a, hey, you could actually approach this music with these kind of ways too. But I still think, luckily, there's only one track with, you know, vocals, because once you're used to that, that there are no singing as such, it really works like a charm when you just get used to it. So that is one big difference versus P. 
Pink Floyd, for instance. Then again, lots of post-rock bands go with this kind of feeling, you know, creating this uh, feeling that you don't really need vocal parts. You don't need singing at all. You just go for the climax, slowly building the song, you know, adding a little bit of layers each and every time and creating wonderful uh, lengthy tracks. Now, um, this is not exactly that because it's very much leaning on the kind of a adult oriented rock, but also progressive rock element and blending all these together actually makes this album really, really enjoyable and wonderful. Hardly I can say uh, there are parts which I don't like that much, but I say hardly because there are a couple of tracks which go a little bit too much Tool or other bands in that segment, in my opinion. They don't bother me, they don't annoy me at all, but to me they are a little bit of like a maybe going off-road a little bit too much, like as if you're driving a car and then you notice you're too much on the edge of the road and it kind of suddenly make these moves to correct you on the path, that is, stay on the road, not go off-road. Um, but overall, I think this is a very, very enjoyable album. Really, really great, like a counterbalance towards all the metal music, especially the extreme kind, more like a soothing back. Uh, but not exactly any kind of dark ambient or soundtrack, which I also enjoy a lot, but somewhere in the middle, like picking the pe best parts, being kind of a happy and being kind of energizing, but still more like you could just, I don't know, sleep to it, you know, just put it on and take a nice position and maybe in so enjoy some glass of red wine, glass of scotch whiskey, I don't know, places where smoking pot is legal, maybe do that. Uh, anyway, substance or no, maybe a cup of coffee or good tea would do. This is very, very enjoyable, uh, an album. And I think this is definitely worth checking out, even, do you, even though you don't necessarily uh, listen to post-rock in general, you know. Um, very, very good album. Definitely album of the year contender. And uh, I wouldn't know until the year is actually gone, but this is really, really top-notch work. Thank you guys in Germany. Thank you Long Distance Calling. Great album. Thank you for checking out the review. Take care. Bye-bye.